to the many. Um, a lot of times in conferences and lectures, we get the push to make a change in the OMA and make a difference. I really admire all the people starting institutions and leading organizations, but I feel s spread thin just from focusing on raising a righteous family, being a good wife, dealing with family issues, and keeping up with my own dean. How can I do it all like you all? <laughs> uh, Dr. Rodney is going to answer this. <laughs> We could tell the we could tell the Dr. Rania we could tell the story of uh, Dr. Rania tell the story of uh, early first women's dean intensive. So we we want we want I'll tell, I'll start the story but then she can talk about how she juggles and uh, a lot of it has to do with support. Uh, but we I mean you guys see the the pretty side of of us coming to the conference like we had to plan dinner. You know, our spouses, alhamdulillah, are, are, are supportive in that, um, you know, they're taking on responsibilities that we would otherwise do. Uh, we don't say they're babysitting because we are both parents to our children. All of the things that you had to do, and I talked about this like, starting at 2 o'clock, we gave sisters a chance to, like, make a good breakfast or brunch, you know, finish your laundry, do the grocery shopping, and then come rest at MCC while you listen to your... Uh, program, we, the same thing happens on the other side of the stage. Sisters had to travel, you know, uh, uh, make plans, come from different areas. So all of the logistical things, but I think for a lot of our teachers, the, the intention, uh, wanting to do and serve the community, uh, putting whatever Allah facilitates for us is what we do. Um, you know, we can't always be at every program, at every talk, fill every request, but just trying to be open to everything that we can do. And I know a lot of amazing sisters who are doing work in the community that nobody knows about, whether it's feeding people, providing them groceries, watching children, you know. Um, so just to facilitate somebody else being able to do what they want, it's happening everywhere. A lot of the silent soldiers that nobody hears about, you know. All of that is happening. So don't minimize what you are doing as long as you're doing something. And you have to ask yourself, what is, like Dr. Haifa says, you know, not what I want to do, but what is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opening up for me to do? What is that path that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made easy for me? And do that, and just go with it. Uh, because there's a lot of things that you may think are better than other things, but you don't know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how he's created your path to Jannah. And so just walk whatever path Allah opens for you, and inshallah, it will get you to where we all want to be, which is inshallah with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, chilling in the Jannah, drinking milk and eating honey. And inshallah, that's what we want. We want to be together. Anyhow, uh, Dr. Rania. No, no, that was perfect. <laughs> Wasn't it? Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar.